The Galileo program, in which ESA and the European Commission are working together to develop and build the first publicly owned and operated satellite navigation system in the world, has entered a new phase in its development. At the end of 2013, Galileo successfully completed its in-orbit validation, or IOV. During this phase, the European Space Agency, ESA, did extensive testing of the system using a mini constellation of four satellites. The satellite signals were validated in laboratories and in the field, driving around remote locations, at sea and even in the air. The results were beyond expectations. After the IOV phase, that we have completed the end of last year, we are now in the so-called deployment completion phase, which will go up to end of 2016, and after that we will enter into the so-called exploitation phase. During this deployment phase, Europe is procuring another 22 satellites. Together with the four satellites already launched, the target is to have a constellation of 16 satellites by the end of 2016. The addition of these satellites will increase Galileo's performance in terms of positioning, accuracy and service availability. The ultimate program objective is to deploy a 30-satellite constellation for the overall system. However, the provision of improved navigation services is also dependent on the upgrade of the ground segment, which will need to be expanded accordingly. The Galileo ground segment is made of control centers which are located in Germany and in Italy and a number of remote stations which are necessary for the control of the satellites, for the uplink of the messages or for collecting the data coming from the satellites. So currently we are having a number of ground stations which are already deployed and the purpose of the phase in which we are, we are is to increase the, the number of stations to get to the final uh, numbers that we need to get the full performance. The distribution of remote stations is worldwide. We need in particular to have stations in high latitudes to be able to uh, communicate with the satellites frequently and also to have stations which are around the equator where we have less contacts but longer ones. The Galileo satellites are controlled in space from two centers, one in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany, and one in Fucino, Italy. This is where the navigation message is generated and uplinked to the satellites via the remote stations. The satellites then broadcast the navigation signals, including the latest message prepared by the ground segment. As part of the deployment phase, both centers are being upgraded so they can act as a backup for each other. With the successful in-orbit validation phase and the ongoing deployment phase, with the launch of the next two Galileo satellites this summer, Europe's Galileo program is well on its way. But new challenges still await ESA. Now that we have demonstrated with the IOV phase that the performance of the system will be met, the main challenges of Galileo is to make the system robust, extremely stable and operable in an easy way in order to minimize the, the costs. With the deployment phase underway, ESA and the European Union are taking another step forward in completing the Galileo constellation and offering navigation services to the users.